let's sneak a little taste before everybody comes for dinner. Yum. Hey, sweeties. Today we are making oven roasted honey garlic salmon. It is mwah, so good. Let me show you. It's already done. Let me show you what it did. Oh my goodness. Succulent, moist, beautiful honey garlic glaze on there. Easy. Really just a few ingredients in a few minutes. And look what you've got, that gorgeous moist salmon. Let's get into it, but first please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. And now let's get into this delicious honey garlic salmon, all made in the oven. I ordered three pounds of salmon from Whole Foods. They ended up sending me a nice big filet and then part of a side of salmon. And I guess I should have asked <laughs> if the salmon came scaled because guess what? It came with the scales on. So we're gonna have to just do a little messy work. If you could do it outside, it's better, but you just wanna gently scrape. Let's see if you can see it better over here. Gently scrape the skin side and the scales come off pretty easily. Do this outside if you can. All right, we've got the scales off of the salmon and I rinsed both sides and patted them dry. Now we're gonna just, oh, one no side note. The scales I got on the countertop are really hard to get off. So ask for fish with no scales or skinless salmon. So keep that in mind, put some paper down or something. Now you're gonna run your finger gently along the salmon and check for any small bones and you can pull them out. This seems to be okay. I don't feel any, oh, there's a little something right there. See it? Now you can have, pull it out with tweezers. I have some little tweezers, oh, here they are. You can pull it out with your fingers, which should be, you know, pretty easy to be gentle. And if you can't grab it, then you might want to use some tweezers. There we go. And pull out a little bit of bone and just gently uh, pull it out so you don't tear it. Oh, there's another bone right there. And um, But always warn your guests to be on the lookout for small bones, just in case you miss anything. Now I'm going to lightly score the salmon. Let's do it this way. And I love cooking a whole side of salmon um, because it's a beautiful presentation, but it can be difficult to serve because it's hard to slice neatly after it's cooked. So we're just gonna gently score it, not all the way through. That's where we're gonna slice it to serve. And that will also help for our marinade to sink down into that salmon. Just like that. Now that our salmon is ready and waiting for us, we are going to preheat our sheet tray. And you want a tray with a little lip on the side. I'll put a link to the sheet trays that I use. My oven is preheating to 425 degrees. So we will stick this in the oven and let that get nice and hot. And that way our salmon starts cooking as soon as it hits the pan. We'll take some aluminum foil. And the foil is gonna do two things. Let's spray it with a little spray first. A little, this is a little bit of uh, grapeseed oil to keep things from sticking. So the foil will catch any marinade to keep it from making a mess in the pan. And we're also gonna fold the foil up a bit to make kind of a boat to hold the, the glaze, I should call it, hold the glaze close to the salmon. So when we pour the glaze on, it doesn't run all over the pan. It stays right close up to the salmon. Just like that. Gotta season it, gotta season it. A little 
fresh cracked black pepper, a little kosher salt, not too much because we're using soy sauce in the glaze, and then a little bit of that cayenne for some heat. I'm gonna give that a sprinkle. And we're gonna do that on both sides. So we'll flip this over and you can even get it in there. Flip it over and do the same thing. Started on our sauce, we have a tablespoon of butter in this pan and we're just gonna soften. This is three, four cloves of garlic depending on how garlicky you like it. And we just wanna soften that garlic up for 30 seconds, maybe a minute over medium heat. Then we're gonna shut it off, add our honey and soy sauce, because we don't want a scorching hot sauce that we're gonna pour over our raw salmon. That's not what we're looking for right now, so. Mm, that fragrance of the garlic just wafting up. Remember, keep the heat on medium because you just want to soften it. We turned off our heat. Honey. Mm. Soy sauce, and this is, whoop, there we go. <laughs> Low sodium, less sodium soy sauce. And the warmth of the pan is going to help for that honey to sort of soften up and be easily pourable, not quite as thick and blend into the sauce. Now we're gonna set this aside and wait until it's time to pour it over our salmon. Our oven is hot, our pan is hot. Take our salmon, drop it on our hot pan, make sure our foil is nice up around those sides. Pour our sauce over. Brush it a little bit. Let's make sure the sides hold up. Make sure it's all over. Nice. We'll pop it back into the oven. Let's go on the bottom of it first for seven minutes. And we've got some rice cooking in our Ninja Foodie, just some regular uh, long grain white rice. And um, it's already pressure cooked on high for three minutes and then natural release for at least 10 minutes. And I'll just let this stay and keep warm until our salmon is ready. And I have some lettuce that I'm going to wash and um, get ready for dinner. Let's get our lettuce ready. This is some um, good lettuce or butter lettuce. And we wanna leave the leaves nice and whole because then we can use it as lettuce wraps, put some rice in there, your salmon, sprinkle some more veggies over the top, good stuff. So you wanna be gentle. Oh, gotta check my salmon. Let me just get this out. Drop that into the salad spinner basket. Let any excess water drain off, and then we'll spin this. Let's take a look. Now you can see how it's getting a little bit of opaque around the sides. We can baste it a little bit with the sauce. And then we're gonna slide it under the broiler but you can see how it's changing there. Baste a little bit more. I'm gonna put this under the broiler, but you really do have to watch it because the sugar, all that honey, can burn easily if you don't pay close attention. So you only want it in the broiler for just about a minute, maybe two minutes. There we go. And see how that foil keeps the sauce from just going splat, flat out all over the, plan, the pan. All right, let's get this back into the oven. 
The broiler is optional if you want to char the salmon. If not, you can just put it back into the oven for three to five minutes. And I know I cause a little bit of confusion when I talk about the broiler. This is what the broiler is. And you know, all stoves are a little bit different. So this is the broiler under the very top of the oven where you get that flame and you can adjust the rack so that it's closer or farther. You wanna just keep an eye on it. I like a little bit of char on my food, but you gotta keep an eye because it can burn real fast. Okay, back to that salad. Now I'm gonna use the salad spinner to take off the excess water from those lettuce leaves. And I think this is an older model. They look a little different now. I'll link to it in um, the comments, I mean, sorry, in the description box. I'll link to the Amazon page, and you can take a look at what it looks like now. I think it's got more of a translucent top, but it works pretty much the same. You press that, that's the break. There you go. Let's do a couple of man, uh, a couple of radishes in this mandolin. This mandolin is from the uh, Pampered Chef party I went to, and you just always use the guard. <laughs> Please always use the guard. You don't want to cut your finger. That is super sharp. Oh, I should have taken that green part off. But. That's it, and then we also have a nice watermelon radish too. And this, you set the dial, how thick you want the slices, push it up or you close it, right? Or you close it. This slides on like that. Radish in the middle, or onion, whatever you want to slice nice and thin. Now we're talking. And there we got it. Perfect. Even slices every single time. All right, my nose is telling me this is done. I faced it a little bit more. And when you put it under the uh, broiler, your garlic will get toasty, so if you don't like that kind of crispy garlic taste, then you might not want to put it under the broiler. You might want to just let it finish in the oven and your garlic won't get quite so toasted. But you can see here the foil keeps the sauce nice and close to the salmon and a pan stays clean. So no scrubbing for me. Then drizzle a little fresh lemon juice. Mmm, the acid will just brighten everything up. And it's time to ring that dinner bell. Rice is ready. Got our radishes and our lettuce. And our salmon is the star of the show. I'm serving it with the rice and the veggies wrapped in that lettuce leaf. Mmm. Look at that salmon. I mean, simple, so delicious, so flaky. Let's sneak a little taste, let's sneak a little taste before everybody comes for dinner. Yum. Look at that moist, tasty sauce. Mm. Delicious, squeeze a little fresh lemon over it. Perfect. Mm. Ooh, so good. Oh, I hope you make this one. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and y'all have a delicious day.